everyone welcome back to tech with joanne i'm joanne and in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to create your nft using canva so before i actually get into it i do want to say canva does have specific licensing that prevents you from using their graphics inside of your nft without making significant changes so i do want you to be careful if you go in here and you grab some graphics or some images from canva be careful with that because it might go against their licensing so i do definitely Definitely recommend reading up on their licensing and the things that you can use it for in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create your own original art and that is completely fine you can use canva as long as the artwork is completely yours so now that that's out of the way I want you guys to go to canva.com the link is in the description box so you can just click on that link and open up canva sign up for an account you can sign up for a free account or you can sign up for a pro account uh, the pro account does have a free trial so you can do that just to test things out all right so once you're in let's go ahead and open up Instagram post and then what we want to do is we just want to go to elements and we want to click on this square so we're going to use this square as sort of our grid our guideline so I'm just going to resize this and you just want to make it small because what we're going to be using is we're going to be doing some pixel NFTs so just go ahead and I'm gonna do actually I want it a little bit bigger so I'm gonna do 54 by 54 and I'm just gonna put it over here in the corner and then from here, I'm just going to copy and paste. So I'm just going to highlight it, control C, control V, copy and paste. So that's what I want you to do. Just go ahead and copy and paste and I'll be right back. So just a quick tip to make this faster for those of you who don't know this, instead of just copying and pasting one at a time, because that's going to take you forever. If you're on a PC, you just want to hold down the alt key and then you just want to drag and it highlights everything. And then you can go ahead and paste so it makes it super simple to do it that way once you have your entire grid what we're going to do is we're now going to actually start putting our pixels in place so I want you to just highlight one of the boxes control C control V to copy it and then change the color to black or whatever color you want to use and what we're going to do now is we're going to actually start building our pixels out so that we can uh, have some pixel art so you just want to drag your pixel and you want to actually make sure that is in line with the little gray pixels here so that everything is lined up exactly the way that you want it to be so just go ahead and start building I'm gonna do just a quick little image of a girl So go ahead and start doing that and I'm just going to show you so you watch what I'm doing. I'll stop talking now and I'll be back. just going ahead and cleaning it up cleaning up the areas making it look how I want it to look um, but again this is up to you you can make it look however you want it's completely fine 
uh, just go ahead and play around with your little squares your little pixels until you get something that is just right and that looks good and looks the way you want it to look I have my girl done and she looks exactly how I want her to look um, I'm going to go ahead and I want to create different backgrounds so you want to make sure that for your artwork you are creating different backgrounds for your girl so that um, you have something that actually can be varied all right so the first thing that I'm going to do is I want to delete the rest of these pixels but before I do that before you do this make sure that everything looks exactly how you want it to look um, because you're going to need these little grids it just makes it so much easier to have these grids but once you are certain that you're happy with the way that your girl looks go ahead and delete the pixels around it so I'm just going to hold down the alt key I'm going to select as many as I can and then I'm just going to delete them Once you have all of your surrounding pixels deleted, it should look like this. She should just be on a white background. So what I'm going to do is so that I don't have to keep changing my girl over and over and over again, I'm going to go ahead and press this right here, this little plus sign, and I'm going to duplicate. So now I have two girls like this. Another thing that you want to keep in mind is that not only do you need to have different background layers, but let's say for instance you want your girl to change as well then you can have different layers for her so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change my girl and then um, I'll be right back I'm just going to change these brown tones to a different tone so that my NFT gives different skin options so as you can see I created a second girl and the only thing I did was just duplicate the page by using duplicate selected the skin pixels and then just change the color just like I did in the first one and then change the color of her bow and her little choker so you can duplicate this as many times as you want to change whatever assets you want to be different so for this one I'm just going to keep it where as though I want to change her skin and her bow and then the only thing that I'm going to do now is I'm just going to create I'm going to add page and I'm going to do a background layer so that no matter what girl I use this background can be used for several girls so you just want to go here and you can actually create you can select a color so you can do it that way so as many different backgrounds you want to actually be behind your girl so we're not going to do it where so I'm changing the color here I'm gonna do it where I have the background as its own separate layer because I would like for this blue to be used on both girls so when you put your artwork into an NFT generator what you'll be doing is that you'll be uploading every single one of these as a separate layer and you're going to save these inside of a folder and you're going to name it backgrounds all of your background layers you're going to put in there and then you'll name another folder based on that asset so if I were doing it I would have one for the girl and I will put all of these two inside of that folder and then I will put all of my backgrounds inside of a separate folder so that's what you would want to do is you want to go ahead and do it that way let's say for instance I wanted her red um, choker and her gold choker to be um, used for every single girl interchangeably as well so what I would do is that I would leave these in place I would delete the entire girl so I would leave the choker and the bow in place and then I would just leave it like that so that the choker and the bow is already in place and then I would delete the girl and I would have that as own separate asset and then what I would do is I would come to the girl and I would delete the choker and the bow so that this area is completely empty that way when I put my NFT inside of the generator it will automatically place these colors in place no matter what girl I'm using so you want to think about that you want to make sure that you have um, your layers planned out and you have your assets planned out and pretty much what that means is what is it about the NFT you want to change do you only want to change the background then it's nice and simple you just have your character 
and you just have your background layers that's all you would need like i just said if you wanted to change the bow you would have your character your bow and your background layers so if you wanted to change the hair you would need a whole separate layer just for the hair so keep that in mind when you're creating your nft you need to think about the assets and what is it that you want to change about the nft and for everything that you want to change you need a completely different panel for it so just to download you would go ahead and click download and you want to download this as a PNG and you want to make sure you do transparent background. Now, here is where having pro comes in handy because as you can see, there's a little crown right there and that means that you need a pro account. So that's why I suggest that you click the link in the bio and make sure that you sign up for the free trial of the pro account so that you're able to do these things because you're going to need this transparent background. If you don't have a transparent background, that means that the white is going to show up and we don't want that because that means that our color options won't show through. So you need to make sure you have a transparent background. I'm just going to download the first one for now. I'm going to click done and I'm just going to go ahead and click download. So I'm going to open this up and I'm just going to go ahead and see what this girl looks like. So here she is, this is what she looks like. Simple little pixel NFT that I've created, just like that. As you can see, it's nice and simple, um, nothing too complicated. And then once I actually put this inside of the generator, it will create all of my backgrounds for me. So that's how you would create your NFT inside of Canva. You wanna make sure that is your original design so that there are no issues with the licensing. So it's super easy to create, especially these pixel NFTs. You just go ahead and create these little boxes. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more tech videos, more videos on NFT. And I'll have some general tech videos in the pipeline that are actually coming your way so definitely go ahead and subscribe and like this video for me and if you have any questions at all make sure you put it in the comment section and I'll come back around and I'll answer as many questions as I can all right thank you so much for watching guys I'll see you in the next video